Hello everybody, James Mandelbaum with Gigamon here to cover Gigamon Basics Unboxing Your HC2. The agenda, what's inside the box. We're going to install the controller card. If you purchased a rear Giga Smart card, we'll show you how to install that. And we're going to install a front module. In this case, for us, it will be a GigaSmart card in this demo, but every card installs exactly the same. In your box, you will see assembly quick guides. Now a little disclaimer, this is my lab gear, so it's a little beat up, but yours will look perfectly new. So just know it'll be nice and shiny when you take it out of the box. These guides cover everything that I'm about to cover now, but it's always nice to reinforce it with a video. You will have mounting brackets and screws. I'm showing you one side. You will have two sets of each. And here's the front of the HC2 chassis. Now, while we're looking at the front of the chassis, let's zoom in on that lower left corner. In the lower left bottom is your console port. One of my other videos, I walk you through bringing it up for the first time and assigning an IP address so that you can configure it and manage it. That's what the port above is. That's the management port. That's where you will plug the ethernet connection to the management interface so that you can connect to it through Fabric Manager, SSH, or even using the GUI within the HC2 itself from your web browser. Now, one of the things that's often overlooked when racking and stacking the HC2 gear is the management controller. This management controller is in a separate box. It's mixed in with the packing material. So make sure you go and you look for this box because without it, the box won't power on. Pretty common mistake. So to install that, if we look at the back, there are two screws on the fans. You'll unscrew these and you'll remove the fan and set it aside. As you take the management controller and slide it in, you'll notice that there are tabs at the back. As you slide it in, open the tabs all the way. And when you push it in, you'll notice that these tabs have these little grooves that as you slide it in and you slide those little tabs closed, it'll pull it in and lock it in place. From there, it's very simply put the fans back in place, screw the fans down. The fans will actually connect into the controller card. That's the back plane for the power for the fans and the monitoring, and then screw them down. Now, if you did acquire the rear GigaSmart card, this is what it looks like. It's very simple to install. If you remove the blank plate, which was below those fans where you just installed the controller card, you'll see an opening. And it's very simple just to slide in, and as you get to the very end, you'll push it in, and there's a screw on the left and a screw on the right, and that'll tighten it in. Now, as we look at the front of the HC2, there are four slots. All four are exactly the same. You can put any card in any slot, so it's up to you which slot you use. Whether you like it for cable management purposes or for visual purposes, that's completely up to you. So we'll remove the two screws on the blank and you have an opening. Now you'll notice there are little grooves that appear right here and right here where you'll be able to put in the card and it'll line in the groove. So as we slide it in, this is what the card looks like. You'll need to make sure that you pull that tab back because what happens is, is as you get to the end and you get to the very edge of it, Sliding that closed pulls the card in all the way and locks it in place. So here the card is being slid into those grooves that I talked about right here and right here with the tab open. And then as I get to the end, I'll push that tab closed, turn the twist knob, and lock it in place. That's all there is to it. And then you repeat that for each additional card that you want to install. Now, while these cards are hot swappable, it's always recommend that you don't do this while it's live in production and that you do power down when you do them. But again, it is hot swappable, but the recommendation for always for safety reasons. While you're looking at our videos, I would encourage you to join the Gigamon community, get involved. There's a lot of people up there asking and answering a lot of great questions. And as always, I'm going to recommend to follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much.